What's going on YouTube? Alex from Fresh Hands here again today. It is a hot day in Texas, so we're not smoking any kind of heavy meats or anything like that. Today, we're doing an ahi tuna steak on the big green egg. It's gonna be a really simple cook. We're gonna just uh, season it up really quickly, throw it out on the grill. It shouldn't take more than about three minutes to cook it. Um, so let's just jump right into this thing. So we've got two steaks here that we picked up at Costco today. And we're gonna season them with two different rubs here. Uh, the first one we're going to use is just a Montreal steak seasoning. I know, uh, I know some of you guys, uh, some of you guys might not agree with this approach, but I mean, we were just going to salt and pepper it anyway, so you get a few extra little seasonings in there. It's going to make it taste pretty good. And you know, we like to layer flavor here. So the other one that we picked up was this orange dill rub seasoning. Uh, this is going to be pretty good. This is one of those John Henry's rubs again. Uh, we're told that this is awesome on fish, um, awesome on poultry, things like that. So we're just going to add a little bit of that to kind of kick it up a little bit. So. Um, we're going to put a little bit of a binder on there. I just have a little bit of organic olive oil here. Um, so let's just get started with it. We're going to just pour a little bit on both sides of this tuna steak. doesn't matter. You can get a lot on there. And just kind of rub it on there. And then we'll go for the Montreal first because that's going to be our kind of our primary base rub here. And I want to build kind of a crust up on this. so. Season it up pretty decently there. So we're getting some garlic and some other good spices on it. And then I'm just gonna throw a little bit of this, a little bit of this rub on here. And you can see I'm not going too too heavy. It does have a little bit of a sweetness to it. And if you guys have watched the channel for any period of time, you know that I'm not super crazy about, about really sweet rubs, but I think it'll offset the Montreal really nicely. So let's kind of flip that over. Do a little bit of the same thing. Won't need quite as much oil on this side because it's already kind of gotten a little bit from being on the tray there. Just kind of massage it in. We'll get it on the sides too. So I like it to have a little bit of that pepper on the sides. And then we'll just kind of do the same thing. Have a nice little crust on it. And then I'll just kind of flip this over. Get it on the sides here. Seasoning it kind of like I would season a plain old regular steak. Hopefully I'm not going too, too heavy on it, but um, you, can, you can put a lot of this Montreal on and not really overpower your meat. And then on with this orange dill rub. A little bit of that on. I'm not going to put that on the sides. I'm just going to put that on both, on both sides there. Okay, and it's as simple as that, y'all. So what we're going to do now I'm gonna cover these up, throw them in the refrigerator for 30 minutes or so, and that's gonna give me just enough time to crank up my big green egg. What I'm doing today on the big green egg is I'm cooking with some rockwood charcoal. I'm gonna fire that thing up to about 400 degrees, and when we get to 400, I'm gonna put these on here, sear them on each side for about a minute and a half. I'm going for a medium or medium rare on these. So uh, anyways, we're gonna go put these in the fridge, get the grill fired up, and then we'll catch you back at the grill. Okay, guys. We've got our grill fired up to 400 degrees. Here are our tuna steaks. So what we're gonna do, you can see we're sitting right at 400 on this big green egg here. So, and I've got this set up today for direct grilling. So there's no, there's no diffuser plate in there. You can see my fire is going pretty good. I'm gonna put these right on that center grate there. And I'm gonna close that up. And literally, we're just going to go a minute and a half on that. So we'll see you guys back in a minute and a half. Okay, you guys, we've been going for a minute and a half on these two ahi steaks. So let's go ahead and flip them. Oh, yeah, look at that. Nice grill, grill marks. Okay. And now we're gonna go for another minute and a half on there, and then we'll bring you guys back when we're ready to pull these off. This is a really quick cook today, so this is super easy. You can do this when you don't feel like sitting outside and in the heat today. We've got a heat index of 110 here in North Texas, so uh, we thought about cooking them on the, on the driveway, but we figured it was probably a little bit more sanitary to throw them on the egg, and probably a little bit more entertaining for you guys, or maybe not. So anyways, we'll catch you guys back in about another minute and a half. All right, guys, it's that simple. Our second minute and a half is up, so let's go ahead and take a peek here. All right, this one I believe is definitely done. 
So you can look at these and kind of see from the side that we're still pretty rare there. So that's just where we want to be. I think this one's right where we want to be as well. So go ahead and close down the egg. Okay, we're going to let those kind of sit for a few minutes, let them kind of absorb some of their juices back so we're not cutting right into them. Um, and then we'll show you guys what that looks like. It, it should look pretty good. It, it, we're really excited about this cook. But see how quick and easy that was? Three minutes on the grill and you can have happy guests. Uh, it's not the cheapest cut of meat in the world, but it's a pretty awesome, a pretty awesome cut of meat and super easy to do on your big green egg or any grill that you can get up to 400 degrees. So we'll catch you back inside when we're ready to cut into these. All right, guys, this easy cook is coming to an end here. So we've pulled our, our tuna fillets off of the grill now. And so I'm going to transfer this one. It looks like it was a little bit more well done over here. And I've just whipped up a little bit of lemon juice, a touch of our rub and some salt and pepper. And I'm just going to kind of put that on top of this before I cut it open. Uh, it'll help us obviously get a little bit more flavor on this and it'll help us, uh, it'll help a little bit of that moisture retention. So as with any poultry or steak or anything like that, uh, I want to cut against the grain. So you can see the grain is running this way on this particular tuna steak and it kind of curves around, but we'll cut it right through here like this, right through the middle. So let's take a look here. And honestly, I have no idea if this is going to look good or not, but I think it looks pretty awesome right there. That's exactly what you want to see. You want a very, a very uh, red kind of pink center there. Uh, this is how all the other videos on on YouTube and uh, cooking, you know, cookbooks and things like that were showing it looking like. So I think what we would do is make a few slices here. Go ahead, I'll, let me cut a half slice here. All right, let's take a look. Let's see what we think. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Wow, I gotta have another one of those. Look at that. I mean, that's goodness. Yeah. It's like steak of the sea right there. That's awesome. Uh, that is all the flavor you get a little bit of the flavor from the charcoal and we're cooking on the on the grill out there you get a little bit of that olive oil taste that we from the olive oil that we just put on there and our rubs really bring that together you can taste a little bit of that orange from that orange dill rub that we used that was that is the the bomb.com right there i'm not gonna lie that that's an awesome little meal so uh, I hope you guys go out there and give this a try because it was delicious, uh, super easy. If you don't feel like sitting out there tending to a grill all day, and obviously, if if you don't like it that rare, you can obviously cook it longer. You know, to whatever your preference is. You don't have to cook it rare like that. But me personally, you know, I like it if it's still flopping around on the deck. So uh, I I really like this. Really like this level of done this. Really like this this approach. Uh, I will be trying this again. This was kind of my first shot at it. So. I'm definitely going to uh, definitely going to make this part of my normal kind of rotation now. So anyways, I hope you guys go out there and try this and happy cooking to you.